Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name's Heather. Today is gonna be a little bit different because I'm doing my very first A Day in My Life video. I have had this on my schedule since September of 2019 and I'm so excited to do it. It is absolutely, hands down, one of my favorite types of videos to watch on YouTube. I love to watch um, decluttering and of course I love Disney videos as well, but I love to see a day in my life videos. There's just something so amazing about seeing how someone else lives. I've had a lot of questions about like Michaela's life and my life. So I thought this might clear some things up. It might answer some questions that you guys may have. Can't promise to be as entertaining as other people, but I'm really excited to do this and hopefully it answers any questions that you guys may have about uh, a day in a life of a special needs mom. So let's go do this. We are headed to school now, and usually this is the time that I talk to my mom on the phone. Um, I connect it through the car, so there's no worries there. But this is the time that I usually spend talking to her. She gets to talk to Michaela before school starts. And right now it's raining, so there's really not much I can show you or um, share with you along the drive because it is raining. So I will check in with you guys later. Sorry for the late update. I'm actually at Target now. The weather has been so bad, so when I got Michaela out at school, I didn't really film an update there because um, I had to assist the teachers and everything. So yeah, there was no way to give an update at school. But we are at Target and guess who forgot their umbrella? Me. So I can just feel my hair getting bigger and bigger today. <laughs> but anyway, um, if I see anything amazing in Target, I will show you. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon.
was in Target for quite some time and um, I did pick up a few things, nothing wonderful, but I'll go ahead and show you what I got. There are a couple of things that I can't show you because they're a gift for someone else who might be watching. So the first thing that I picked up was some hand soap in the scent of basil. It is a Myers product. Oh, how I wish they would sponsor me one of these days because I absolutely love their products. So um, yeah, I did pick up this hand soap again. So exciting, so riveting, right? Um, and for those who don't know, um, I order Michaela's Incontinent Supplies through a pharmacy warehouse, and they are very late with the shipment this, this year, this month. So I went ahead and picked up some baby wipes. We use them, so, um, but we typically use the adult size. So I did pick up a pack of wipes by Cloud Island. It says they are National Eczema Association accepted. So they're sensitive care, ultra thick wipes. Um, not tested on animals, which is very important. So, um, I did pick these wipes up. They feel very, very thick. So, it says they are. <laughs> we'll see. So, I did pick up two e.l.f. makeup items. The very first thing is the Expert Liquid Eyeliner, which is actually the one that I use. And I am no makeup expert, but I was out, so I did pick this up. This was $3. And then I found this on clearance, just piddling around. And this was originally $5 on clearance for $2.50. I thought I would give it a go. Um, I'm trying out different primers to see what works with my aging skin. And this is Hydrating Face Primer Prime on the Go. So this is what it looks like. And again, it was $2.50 OG price, $5. And the very last thing that I picked up was a pack of Caesar salad. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with these things because they always taste very chemically. And I wash them anyway, but... Thursdays are very hectic for me, so I thought that I would go ahead and at least pick that up to go with the leftovers from last night, and uh, yeah, so let's go home and eat because, like I said before, I am starving, and I was in there over an hour. We are now going to go pick Michaela up at school and then we're going to go take her to therapy. She has a two hour, hour, she has a two hour therapy session. She has one hour of physical therapy first and then she has one hour of speech therapy after that. While she is in speech, I have to run some errands. I have to go mail something off at the post office. I might swing into the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Um, and I need to find a pair of pants. If you know me at all in real life, you know that I wear my clothes until they are absolutely worn out and so obnoxious. <laughs> and I wish you guys could see my pants right now. But, um, you know, when your legs rub together, eventually your thighs start to wear away the pants. Well, mine have done that. And I've been living with that for just a little while now. I am so frugal that... I even have one pair that's like that, but I've put patches in them. So, I mean, I really don't like to spend money on myself clothing wise. So I may check out a um, upscale consignment to see what kind of stuff that they have. If I do, I'll take you guys along. And um, then it is Thursday and it is happy hour at Starbucks. So I will be picking up Michaela's weekly Starbucks drink. And because it's happy hour, I get one as well. I am so ready to get to Starbucks. You guys just don't even know. I haven't sat down today maybe one time other than driving I sat down enough to eat lunch and I'm sorry that I didn't share that with you guys um I was on a few phone calls and I went ahead and paid some bills that were due today so 
you know, that's boring stuff. So I didn't share that with you. Um, but I'll take you along as much as possible. All right, I'm just picking Kayla up from school. So we're gonna head to therapy. Are you ready to go to therapy? Yeah? No? I know, I wanna stay cuddled up in blankets too. It's actually raining harder over here at her school, which is kind of the norm. Um, but uh, we brought snacks. So I did bring her some snacks to have. You want your snack? And then we're gonna go ahead to therapy again I wish I could just like share some of where we live with you but all you would see is rain and the windshield wiper going and that's no fun that's no fun for anyone is it okay, so we're gonna enjoy our cheeses and we'll see you at therapy I was just informed that I bought the wrong kind of Cheez-Its I bought white cheddar instead of regular cheddar so mom failed We actually had to park in the parking lot across the street from the therapy facility and it is raining and we were kind of against the clouds that were coming in before like the bottom is about to fall out so I did hurry and get her out. I went ahead and assigned her in and I took her in. Obviously, I wait on her therapist. She always makes sure to ask if there's any new updates in Michaela's life, um, anything new she's doing, anything that we want to work on. Um, so I was just informed, I don't know if you guys know or not, but she can walk with Max Assist with a walker or a gait trainer, depending on how you want to say it. And last week, she walked the entire length of the gym in the playroom. And I want to say that's 50 feet. I want to say. I might be exaggerating. Um, it took her 25 minutes to get that entire length. And her legs were shaking the whole time. Um, so she got a really long break. And she, she was able to walk it all the way back. Um, we have a very big goal for her for June. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can share that with you guys as well. Michaela did start coming to this facility right before she turned four. And before then we were driving all the way to Polly's Island from Rock Hill. So <laughs> that's a five hour, four hour, almost a five hour drive for therapy every single week. And we were driving that, um, we would stay overnight and then we would drive. She would have therapy two days in a row and then we would drive home. But this therapy clinic has been a godsend for her. She has made so many strides and so many accomplishments. 
and um, the sad thing is she will be aging out of this therapy center because it is pediatrics. She will be aging out of that when she turns 21. So um, it's going to be a very bittersweet year for me because, and for her as well, because she loves all of that social interaction and um, she won't have her school anymore and she will no longer have her therapy clinic anymore. I am doing some research on trying to get her to a um, adult therapy clinic and um, seeing what programs are out there available for um, after you graduate high school for special needs adults. Um, the few programs that I have seen that are done by the city are not up to standards in my opinion. There is no cameras um, and they do have male and female staff but there are no cameras and I do not want to put her in a facility where there's not protection. Um, and I say facility, I mean like it's like a day camp. Um, so it's just like a day camp slash daycare center and I wanted her to be able to go so she could interact with the peers that she's graduating with, but I, I don't, I just, I can't do that. And I might be considered a helicopter mom, but the world isn't crazy. The world is absolutely crazy and you can't trust anyone and her not being verbal and she can't just pick up a phone to call me and say, hey mom, this person did this, that and the other, she can't do that. So I don't wanna put her in a position for things to happen so I have to be the bad person. I have to make those calls whether she can and can't do those things. So I am actually looking into creating a Facebook group in our town for moms with special needs kids. Either they're homeschooling them, so it could be any age. It doesn't have to just be adults. Um, but homeschooled special needs students as well as um, those have graduated to get together maybe once or twice a month and do something together, whether it be going to the museum, going out to lunch, something maybe go to the zoo it's about an hour and 20 minutes to the closest zoo to us but i really want to put something together because i don't want her to be swept under the rug and i want her to still be very social she is a very social person way more than i am um and I don't want her to lose her abilities. I don't want her to lose those interactions. And I feel like that's a really great way to do that. And I don't think that there are enough parents of special needs children or adults who stand up. Like there are some that are just exhausted and they're like, I've done enough, I can't do any more. And I get it, I do get it. Um, but there comes a time where you have to stand up and know what your child needs. You have to be that advocate. And um, so yeah, that's something that I'm working on. It's bittersweet and it's very hard for me. Um, because I know it's going to be a challenge for myself. Uh, I am, I am very much a homebody and it's going to be very hard for me to, um, get up every day and have a set routine and a schedule, even though I thrive better, just like she does. We both thrive better on a very strict and set schedule. It's just, I'm not creative in the, in the things that really interest her the most and I'm one person, I'm one person. I can't interact all day long. I'm not one of those people who can do that. Um, I start shutting down at a certain time of day and then I just don't have anything else to give. Um, so I know that if I were doing hands-on activities all day long that I would just shut down after a certain point. And um, I just don't wanna be those moms who lets their child sit and watch TV for the rest of their life. And that's the rest of their life. That is the quality of their life forever. I don't wanna do that. So I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of research to still do, but I know that first of all, I know that God will make a way and lead us in the right direction. And I know that those doors will be opened when they need to be. And sometimes we can get um, ourselves into a ball of nerves before anything ever happens. And I'm just really excited to see what is, what is out there and what I can do and what I can help others with as well. So I'm ready to take on this task. I'm so excited. So let's go run some errands and hopefully the rain will hold off. Like I said, we have to go to the post office and we have to go to get some Starbucks. And I think I might run into a clothing store for just a little bit. So I just got my packages mailed off and the bottom fell out. So I am not going to go shopping for clothes today. I'll save that for another day. Maybe I will take you guys along on Instagram or something like that, but oh my goodness, I just can't anymore. Oh my, just dodging this rain today has been so obnoxious. 
So I'm going to go to Starbucks and get some coffee. And then I'm going to go back and wait for Michaela to get out of therapy. And then maybe I'll be able to share more with you once I am home. I'm very sorry. This day has not gone as planned. Comment below and tell me what your favorite go-to drink is at Starbucks. I absolutely loved the Irish cream cold brew and they no longer have it. I'm so bummed. So I don't know what I'm going to order today, but I know Michaela is either going to get hot chocolate or um, I might get her a pink drink, but it is a rainy day. So it might be a hot chocolate kind of day. So we'll see. Okay, so I just got back to therapy. It is still pouring down raining, but I wanted to try this coffee with you guys. I have never got it before. Um, I do like Pike's Place. So this was recommended at the window or at the ordering thing. Um, so it is a Grande Pike Place coffee with two pumps of toffee nut and light soy milk. I usually use almond milk or almond milk, however you decide to say that. So, it doesn't smell the greatest. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just smelling like the heat from the, the lid. Um, it's not very creamy. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really tip it down without spilling it. There's not a whole lot of cream in here, so... Mmm. I don't know. I either like coffee with creamer or with nothing in it at all. And this is like in that weird line. I don't think that I'm going to like it. It just smells funny. It felt, it smells like it's very bold and Pike's place is not, Pike place is not usually bold in my opinion because I get that for our home brewer as well. Home brewer. Clearly I need to drink this whether I like it or not because I'm just declining with all this rain today. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's really weird. It smells awful. Absolutely disgusting. But I actually like it. I'm not one to want a super sweet coffee. I can't do all of these trendy drinks that they come out that are just pretty and all of that. I can't do any of that because it's way too sweet for my palate. But this is actually really good. He did say that he was going to decrease the pumps of the toffee nut. So he only gave me two in this grande. Um, I don't know what else is in here. So he just splashed it with light soy milk and it has two pumps of toffee nut syrup in it. So if you wanted it a little bit sweeter, of course you could just order it regular. Um, but if you don't like yours overly sweet, then just tell them to decrease it down to two pumps. It's not too bad. I actually like it. It's a very good rainy day drink and it's good for mom drink because I'm tired. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. I did bring a book. I'm going to read for a few minutes. Um, perfect weather to do that. So I did bring a book with me and uh, just going to enjoy the quiet for a few minutes because I need some. <laughs> Michaela's just getting out of her two-hour therapy session. She did a fantastic job. She did all of the tasks that she was asked to do. And as you can tell, today was the perfect day to get her hot chocolate. She absolutely loves it. We are definitely ready to go home and have some dinner and slip into some pajamas. So we will see you in a little bit.
so it is dinner time and I told you that we were having leftovers um, this is it we're having the chicken tetrazzini and then we are having a Caesar salad um, we added radishes and cherry tomatoes it actually came with some was it crushed black pepper crushed black pepper um, shaved Parmesan and the croutons and the dressing so I don't know how the bag salad dressing tastes of we eaten them before I think you have mm. it's actually better here it's actually better than yeah than the one we buy it's actually really good um, you can taste the Parmesan and it. it's pretty heavy it's really good and we got that at Target I got that at Target um and the chicken tetrazzini recipe that I used um we tried to make it more health conscious I guess as much as you can if you're using a cream based soup but I opted for fit and active at Aldi's so it has less fat content in it as well it also calls for sour cream I can leave that entire recipe listed below um, but I did use fat-free sour cream and I use low sodium chicken stock in it as well. You could go as far as using um, zoodles, zucchini noodles, and, or you could use holy pasta. Um, There's nothing wrong with that. You didn't even add everything like I said to you. It was still good. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine. It's very rich and creamy, but it's not to the point it makes you like sick at your stomach. So, um, it's just very satisfying. It's kind of like a comfort food, but I don't know. How would you describe it? <laughs> good it is good I definitely already want to make it again um, and we had it last night I've packed some for Michaela for school she's already eaten if you see her in the background she's actually watching Tangled we always make sure to feed her first um, and then we will eat that's just the way we do we don't always sit at the table so when we're not sitting at the table she eats first and then we eat um, it's just kind of been a standard rule over the past 10 years don't want to be on camera do you want mommy to make some dessert in a little bit So we're just now discussing like um, my awkwardness of eating on camera. And he decided to join me at the table, but notice the camera's not on him. I did put it over, he was like, well, I don't wanna be on camera eating. But I am so awkward eating in front of people in general and then trying to eat on camera is so distracting. So we were sitting here discussing doing a mukbang or a mukbang or whatever the heck that's called, but um, we were discussing doing like the Taco Bell dollar menu or um, he was talking about Krispy Kreme because we have a Krispy Kreme right across the way. Like, no, let's just go to Duck Donuts because there is a Duck Donuts in either Orlando or Kissimmee, Florida. And when I looked online, they actually have one in Charlotte. So I think we're going to venture up there one day when the weather gets a little bit nicer and grab some donuts. They have some pretty Funkadelic flavors. I'm really excited to try them. I don't love a ton of sweets, but plain glazed donuts is, oh my gosh, that's my jam. I'm serious, I could eat three, and I'm not even, I am not even mad about that. I'm not ashamed of it at all, like, all the glazed donuts. Talk about donuts. Now I want to make some dessert. Do you want some dessert? You want to build a snowman? <laughs> I'd love to build a snowman, but all we've gotten today is rain. <laughs> Which is why I'm in my pajamas. Actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm usually in my pajamas when we are home for the day anyway. I usually change as soon as we get home for the day. So, I'm just using the excuse of the rain today to make me sound more of a, a grown up. Because usually she's asleep by 7.30 to 7.40 every night. When we had a foster dog, and knew what time she fell asleep because it would bug her at 7.40 because she was asleep. That wasn't a foster dog, that was Ellie. No, because every dog we had, for like three in a row, knew what time you fell asleep and went to bed. I've got pepper in my teeth. Because you fall asleep or lay down on the couch and the dog would come over there and start laying with you and get ready to go to bed. Yeah, so that's true. So it wasn't just Ellie. All right, I'm gonna make some dessert and I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is a recipe that I found on Facebook. It's supposed to be Beauty and the Beast Roses. And as you can tell, 
it turned out like a major flop. I did record this video um, to show at a later date, but I doubt that I'll even be uploading it because I'm just not satisfied with it. So because I didn't like this, I turned them into like little fruit Hot Pockets and you wanna come try it? <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna try it really quickly. Hopefully it turned out really well. Um, it's basically puffed pastry, apricot preserves, and um, a little bit of cinnamon with some sliced apples. So this didn't really give a good picture of it. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So 100% presentation gets an F. They look so hideous and the taste is amazing. I think that next time I try this, I will be doing like a Granny Smith because it's just a little bit oversweet with the preserves. So I think with the Granny Smith apple, it would be absolutely amazing. I will definitely be making this again it is so good so good you guys so i think i'm gonna call it a night guys i have one more load of laundry to fold and i think i'm going to watch an episode of baker versus faker um it's like a new nighttime obsession that we have um but i am going to read her a very short book before turning in um i'm just really tired and I have such high respect for people who can do this so flawlessly. Filming an entire day in your life is no joke. So um, I don't know how you guys have felt about coming along with me. If you would like to see something like this again, I am more than happy to film it, but just let me know in the comments below if that is something you've enjoyed, if I haven't made a total mess of everything. We hope that you have sweet dreams. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.